Hey guys, Carmen here answering another great question. Um, so I had an email that asks, how do I have a conversation with my dentist about tongue ties? Um, so I will say this, I do have some Instagram lives coming up that where I will be talking with dentists about this. So that is going to be kind of the conversation back and forth. So depending on when you're watching this, um, that may or may not have happened. So you can watch for that in my feed. But to answer the question, when somebody asks me, Hey, how do I talk about my, uh, talk about tongue ties with my dentist? I feel like they're either going to be in the know or they're going to be ignorant, not in the know. Um, we all learn both dental hygienists, um, per, probably speech, uh, but dentists in particular, um, also oral surgeons, periodontists, ENTs, that kind of stuff. They know how to do phrenectomies. They know what a tongue tie is, but quite honestly, friend, they're not looking for it. And a lot of them don't know what they're looking for. Um, when I used to work for my boss, the one that frustrated me to no ends because she would talk about how she cared about her, her people, her patients, and she wanted the best for them. And we would have this great conversation about screening for breathing and, you know, uh, mouth breathing and sleep apnea and tongue ties and all that stuff. So we would have this conversation and she would completely understand what I was talking about. And the very next client would come in. She would do the exam and say, good what? G guess what? No cavities, you're good to go. And she'd walk away. And I would corner her in the staff room and say, so we just had this conversation about tongue ties and you came in and did my exam, the very next person, and you totally missed what would have been a grade four. I'm talking serious, serious tongue ties. So I feel like they're either gonna get it or they don't. They know what it is, but they don't look for it. It's not on their radar versus people like me. <laughs> that it's always on my radar. I'm at the grocery store, the, the mall, anywhere. Anytime somebody's talking, I'm watching their face. I'm watching how their muscles work. I'm watching their tongue. So if you're going to have a conversation with your, with your dentist about tongue ties, be prepared that they might say, Hey, open up. Nope. You're fine. Stick your tongue out. Nope. You're fine. Um, that's not okay. That is not a complete assessment. We don't identify tongue ties based on appearance ever. Now, some you guys are low hanging fruit. Some are obvious. Okay. Um, but, but we're talking about the ones where you say, Hey, I've got all these symptoms and I saw a video by the tongue trainer or I saw Carmen on a, you know, on an Instagram live or I heard her on a podcast. Do I have a tongue tie? If they do that little bit of exploration and they tell you that you're fine, they're not they're not the person for you. First of all, they didn't adequately screen you. And second of all, we're not going to want them to do the release for you if you do have a tongue tie. Okay. So I feel like the conversation is pretty minimal. Where it is not minimal is when you ask a doctor who's airway focused, who's sleep focused, who's in the know, who's, who's just cutting edge, really forward thinking and really, really uh, into wellness and, 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 and breathing and, and correct tongue posture, all of those things. Those doctors who are in the know, you ask about a tongue tie, they're going to have so much information for you. They're going to educate you, or they're going to say, yes, you do have a tongue tie. Um, you need my functional therapy. Here's how to contact Carmen. I mean, many, many, many of my providers, thank heavens, I've gotten them so trained. So they, they know how to answer questions. Um, if they don't know the answer to the question, I don't want them to answer it. I don't want them to half-ass it or give you wrong information. I want them to get you to me who knows what she's talking about. Um, so the conversation can go one of two ways. What I don't want you to take as gospel is if you ask your dentist, hey, do I have a tongue tie? And he or she has you stick out your tongue and tells you you're fine. Or he or she says, well, a tongue tie only matters if you can't lick an ice cream cone <coughs> or if you have a speech impediment. That's not true, you guys. Um, a tongue tie is more than just this. This is the free tongue out here. That is... That's part of the concern. But in my practice, in my hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clients, this is the problem. Okay. 
this back of the tongue, if the back of the tongue isn't working, if it's not firing, if it's not lifting, if you can't create a suction, if you can't create a, a seal with this, the, the roof of the mouth, all the way back to the soft palate, thing, you, you can't do things correctly. You're not swallowing correctly. You don't have a correct tongue posture. You know, all of those things. So, in a nutshell, um, where should you start? If you suspect that you have a tongue tie, talking with your doctor is great. Um, I always tell people I'm the hub of the wheel. I should be the first stop. And by me, I mean just myofunctional therapist, okay? Find somebody who works for you that has that no like and trust factor, um, is a good personality match, but then help that person guide you. I'm the tour guide. And and that's that's what I tell my clients. I help you figure out if, if there's a tongue tie concerns, you know, we talk, I, I help you figure out where you're going to go. You know, what's our plan of attack? What, what muscles, you know, what we need to work on the most. Myofunctional help, therapy has four goals, tongue posture, mouth posture, nasal breathing, and then swallow, correct, and normalize. So, so we look at all of those things. By the time I have completely assessed you, I have spent 90 minutes with you. I have written a complete report. I wrote seven reports yesterday. And I think the shortest was eight pages. They range from eight to 12 pages. So that's a big deal. You guys, um, I, I have looked at, you know, 12 to 15 pictures and videos. I have evaluated your oral function. I've actually looked, I've looked at the structures. I've looked at the size of the airway, you know, all of those things. So there's a big, big difference between what a myofunctional therapist is going to do and helping you understand whether you have a tongue tie, what you should do with it versus a doctor, a, a dentist who just says, mm, no, you're good. So I, I, I don't know that there's any science behind, you know, how many dentists, but here's my, my, my humble opinion. If you ask nine out of 10 dentists, if you have a tongue tie, they're probably going to say, mm, no, you're fine. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, know that the starting guide is something you can download. You can find that all over wherever my stuff is. Um, you can find it in my bio. The getting started guide is a great place because it helps you understand where you might have a lot of symptoms. Okay. And so that, that's a great thing to do before we start this conversation and know that you can also always schedule a free 30 minute assessment so that we can talk about what are your concerns? Do you have symptoms? Um, does it make sense for you to move on to an exam? I never want somebody to have an exam and then me say, Hey, you're fine. Or you don't have anything that myofunctional therapy is going to benefit you from. But I can tell you this, if your tongue does not rest in the roof of your mouth, if your mouth posture is not closed with your lips sealed, if you're not breathing through your nose, if you're not swallowing correctly, if you have a tongue thrust, if you're um, chewing and swallowing isn't well, if you're choking a lot, if you're chewing and, and you know, with your mouth open because you have to breathe, all of those things should be saying, hey, got a problem here. So just remember that. Um, I'll be back next time answering another great question. And in the meantime, you can schedule your appointment. You can schedule an exam. You can find tons and tons of resources on my website. I'll see you next time.